Here we are with uh, a week two update with Coach Tony Willard from Augustana. Uh, I think, and I like this, Coach, you said uh, Tuesdays with Tony. I think that's a good nickname yeah. for this thing. <laughs> yeah, everybody should get used to it. Tuesdays yep. are a great day, and hopefully you enjoy my, uh, my, my company. Absolutely. I know I do. I know I do. Yeah. Uh, all right, Coach, so let's do a quick recap, if you don't mind. How how'd the weekend go for you guys? It was all right. We um, we went up to Stevens Point. We took the men and the women, so it was historic, right? The the women have never competed up until this last weekend, and, um, you know, it's it's kind of fun to think. We've been talking to the, the women's team quite a bit about this, like, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. You know, these these are the, the the first women to compete in wrestling at Augustana, you know, so yeah. um, they're all really excited about it. Um, and we actually had, you know, obviously our first first women's match, our first win, our first tournament placing. So, you know, it's it's something for the history books, which is kind of fun. But um, yeah, on the women's side, we had Sawyer, Sawyer Graham from Maryland. She went three and three and actually she was winning in one of her matches and she, she did a move that I wouldn't highly recommend. And she put herself to her back. Um, but that was in the Conci semis. She ended up placing sixth. Um, then on the men's side, we had two guys placing, um, in a really tough tournament, actually, um, Adam, Adam Etter from, he's actually from Morocco, but he wrestled over in Battendorf for, for, I think it's just senior year. Um, or maybe it was just junior year with COVID, I guess, but, yeah. um, and then Alex Cruz plays sixth as well. So. Okay. That's awesome. That yeah. sounds like a pretty good weekend then. Yeah. Yeah. We had, we had initially had like 20 guys registered to wrestle. Okay. Um, and then we had some injuries, some weight cut stuff. We have a duel coming up. So we were holding some people out from the tournament so they could be ready for the duel on Thursday. Um, so we ended up having a smaller squad than we, we initially thought, but um, the guys, they went out and wrestled hard and obviously we're early in the season. So we got a lot of stuff to, to work on and, and yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. So I um, wanted to do a quick, you mentioned Adam uh, editor who, if I recall, right, it was his junior year, I think senior year COVID's, you know, it, it was obviously a weird year. I think yep. his junior year though, he did wrestle at Bettendorf. Um, yep. And then um, as I, as, as we continue through the season, we'll get to know um, your team better, but a couple names that, that um, I know Clay DeBailey from uh, Geneseo um, yep. quick, quick update on Clay, I guess. How's he, how's he doing his first, that first meet against St. Ambrose, he looked pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, I think I had mentioned the last, last week when we talked, he, he's doing everything right. He he's always lifting. He's always, you know, he, he, he's staying on top of his homework. He actually asked me, he was writing a paper on um, why wrestling is the toughest sport. So he was like getting advice on what, what he should include in his paper. And, um, but yeah, he, uh, he didn't compete this last weekend. He actually split his eye open. We did like, uh, like a, a, a last drill weight management type of practice Friday morning before we left. And he caught, I think uh, an elbow to the eye and split his eye open, needed stitches. So um, he didn't compete this weekend, but he'll be, he'll be ready to go on Thursday for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, he, he, he does everything right. So great kid. Yeah. And, and we're, we're happy to have him. So. Yeah. And then another one that I didn't realize, this is just me needing to learn more about the Illinois side of things, but uh, Alex Williams from Moline yep. is a, uh, is a local guy too. So I just wanted to bring his name up. I know in the, in the duel against Ambrose, it was a barn burner. I think, I think maybe if I remember right, he ended up uh, coming out on the bad side of that one, but it was, it was a heck of a good match. So yeah. uh, tell me a little bit, if you don't mind about Alex uh, as well. Yeah. He, so he um, ended up transferring into Augie from McMurray. Um, so he, I mean, like you said, that, that match was awesome. He, he was in on shots. He was getting the leg attacks. Um, he ended up gassing a little bit. So we were doing a little, some changes in his, his weight management, weight cut, um, so that he, he's able to continue to, to perform in the third period, but he was in on, I think he shot a double and got double unders. And rather than like lifting and spiking, he, uh, he just kind of like sagged. And that's when their, their 2,500 inside tripped us to our back. So, 
Um, but he's, he's, his weights, you know, it's, it's, it's managed a lot better now. Um, we're, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, I've been trying to kind of implement this, you know, everybody's cutting weight, like by, by restricting calories, you know, not eating as much, not drinking as much. Sure. And, um, we've got a guy who's, who's been helping us to kind of like break that stigma, I guess. So we're actually having him eat more than he was so that his metabolism keeps going and, awesome. um, he's feeling great and he's down to weight. So hopefully we don't see that anymore, but he's, he's been wrestling really well. I mean, he, he wrestles in the room, he's shooting more. He's, he's basically, you show him something and he can pick it up really fast. Um, so we're excited about where he's going to go this year. Once his, his weights under control. Yeah. yeah. He was super. The one match I got to watch, uh, really impressive at the beginning. And then you could tell, I mean, and, and that's early season. I didn't know about the weight management. Certainly that's a part of it, but I always think like early season, people's lungs aren't quite where they're going to be as yeah. well, but yeah, you can see that he's incredibly talented, really good. Yeah, wrestler. Absolutely. So, um, another local, uh, on the, so the first Augustana women's team, uh, first local quad city wrestler on the Augustana women's team, Kara Rolf from, uh, from North Scott. How's Kara doing? She's doing great. She, um, this weekend, she didn't do as well as she wanted to, but, um, there are definitely things to build on there. She's about as technical as you get. Um, she, you know, she's kind of like Alex. She can, she can learn new stuff. Like we've gone over, you know, fireman's carries, outside carries, different hand fighting techniques to get to those. Um, she was already hitting like outside step shots, which at least in my experience has, it's, it's weird to get people away from like the heel Tony penetration. Right. Um, and, and I love outside step stuff and that's like all she was doing. Um, but she's, she works hard. She's definitely one of our team leaders. Um, she's actually in Augie does this leadership development type of thing with all the athletes. Um, so there are a couple of reps from each team that, that do this program. Um, and she jumped right on it. So she's, um, great student kind of like I was saying with clay like she does everything right um so you know that she's gonna be successful just because of that so yeah yeah okay so what um well I guess no before I go to my next question any other highlights anything else from the weekend you want to you want to uh talk about yeah um Adam ended up placing sixth he actually made it to the semis and wrestled the kid who's um he, he was ranked second in the country wow. and um Adam's been wrestling like on and off for probably less than a year. Right. Yeah. Um, and he, I told him he performs really well. He performs well. I'm like, you don't wrestle well quite yet. Um, but he, he goes out and fights every, every second. He actually took down this kid who's ranked second in the country. Um, and then he just got out wrestled after that. But um, the, the kid never stops. He's always getting extra workouts in. Um, and, and it shows, you know, you don't necessarily have to be super familiar with wrestling if you if you give it your all and you, you have the passion. So um, he plays sixth. Alex Cruz, who we talked a little bit about last week, he ended up placing sixth. Um, you know, and then we had some other guys who who did well. Um, Angel Cruz wrestled well. Chase Clark wrestled pretty well. Um, we have a, a freshman from Colorado who wrestled pretty well. He got a, he got a big pin this last weekend against a pretty tough kid. So um, his name's Cameron Han, uh, Hanel. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, we're just kind of, you know, every day trying to get a little bit better and we're wrestling Elmhurst, our first conference duel on Thursday. So um, okay. we're looking to, to go get a big win there. So sure. And then actually this, this upcoming weekend are, is our last football game. So we're, we're really excited to get our football guys back. We got Daniel Scold, who was our starting heavyweight last year. Um, and then it's funny because his backup on the offensive line is Josh Woodry, who is also on the wrestling team. Oh, um, he's a okay. freshman. We're really excited about him. Um, and then obviously like Jack Padding, we've talked about, we, we expect big things from him this year. We got Dylan Messer, who's also on the football team um, from Dixon. So local-ish kid. Yep. Um, and then we got a kid also from Peoria who's going to start wrestling this year named, um, he's got some, some pretty deep roots in wrestling too. Uh, his grandpa and dad, I believe coached his high school. Um, but Vinny Carcia, it's quite a name, Car Carcia Grossa. Okay. Um, 
Okay. I, I'm probably butch, butchering it, but Vinny, he, uh, he's going to wrestle this year too. So we're excited oh. to add those guys. And that always brings a new energy to the program when we, uh, you know, the guys have been wrestling for what, uh, almost two months at this point. Um, so sure. it's nice to have that fresh, fresh feel. So, yep. Yep. That's exciting. Well, uh, a couple of thoughts on that. So you mentioned Adam at her, um, I've only seen him wrestle a couple times. Like you said, he has, he doesn't have a ton of wrestling experience yet, but what I've seen absolutely a fighter, big, strong, athletic kid. <clears throat> I believe it's a judo background. So the fun yep. part about that is he's never, ever out of a match because, yep. you know, judo upper body throws. Um, I know yep. the, at the, against St. Ambrose, that's how he ended, he ended his match, uh, with, a. Yep. I don't remember if it was a lat drop or what the throw was, but it was an upper body yeah. throw for a fall. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I've always called it like a Polish throw where you have like over-unders and you step behind the leg. Okay. Um, but I, th I think they hit a single leg, we defended, and then as they came up, we stepped behind with our over-under and took sure. him to his back. But he hit one of those this weekend. Um, and actually, we're going to be – we're going to try to do like a takedown of the week. So Tuesdays with Tuesdays with Tony, we're going to post – takedown of the week Love um it. and and his takedown against the the oshkosh kid was pretty outstanding so check our social media for that so. absolutely will absolutely we'll share it and yeah i'm excited to watch it uh but yeah so so that he's already in this in this early season i'm saying he's a must watch if, if i'm around and i and i know adam's wrestling i'm he's a much watch must watch for me for sure very exciting Yep. And then um, you mentioned the football guys. Did he, did he wrestle with Brad? Did, did he wrestle with Bradley at all? I don't think very much. So Bradley, I'm trying to remember Bradley's sophomore year. I think Adam did some JV stuff a little more because he was brand new. He had never wrestled before, um, but he did wrestle varsity against Assumption that year, and he threw. So his. Um, he's a stud wrestler for, and now he's playing football at Grandview, but Zach Adrian was assumptions 220 yeah. and Adam wrestled yeah. and, and, and tossed him. Adrian fought off his back. Didn't get, did not get pinned. And I think then Adrian threw Z uh, Adam in a headlock. I think they were like, you know, head and arm headlocks both ways, but Adrian ended up getting the win. He, he was a really good experienced wrestler, but Adam right there showed Hey, this dude might not know wrestling very well, but he can freaking throw. We, we yep. knew that right away. <laughs> yeah, I think he was like, I think he was ranked. Like, obviously in wrestling, we have cadets and juniors and stuff like that. Um, I think from my understanding, he was ranked in the world in judo in his age group, like top three. Oh, wow. That's so, pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's fun to watch. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on. We'll definitely keep an eye on him. And then... Um, and then a personal favorite, you know, local guy, um, Jack Patty, and excited to watch him get on the mat for sure. Hopefully, I haven't paid real close attention to Augie football. Hopefully, he's had a good season. But, yeah, he's – to me, I know he loves football, and that's great. He's a wrestler in my book, so I'm yep. excited for this – for the winter sport for him. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Um, any uh, any big learnings or takeaways uh, from, from the weekend action? Um, I think it's more on like an individual basis. Um, overall, I thought we, we fought hard. We, we, we wrestled well. And like I said, it was a pretty tough tournament. Um, we've been working a lot on bottom. Um, same thing with the Ambrose duel. We got, we got pinned too many times against Ambrose. And then, you know, like I said, we had a little bit of a smaller, um, squad and a younger squad at the, at the tournament, um, which I feel like freshmen always struggle with is, is bottom wrestling. Yeah. Um, but, uh, we've been, we've been hammering some, some bottom work, um, just positional things. Um, so other than that, not a whole lot. Um, I think the, the guys that are, are putting in the work are, are seeing the results. So, um, we're, you know, we're just continuing to, to, to move on and, and get better. And, um, you know, we, we want to do well in the conference schedule. And if we do well in the conference schedule, then we know we can compete at the national level. So, yeah. um, you know, every day just get a little better. So. Sure. And then you mentioned, uh, I just want to talk real quick about the net what's up next. So Elmhurst on Thursday and that's, and that's at Elmhurst. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, I mean, we do a Facebook live. So anybody who wants to watch, just follow our Facebook. 
Um, we've done that since COVID and it, everybody loved it. So we're going to continue doing yeah. that. Um, and then this upcoming weekend, we, we come back Thursday night and then we leave on Friday for the Millican open. So that'll be down in Decatur. And that's another, I mean, they're in our conference and they're really tough. So um, it'll be good to see them and they have a good tournament. So. Very good. Very good. Well, good luck uh, for sure. Thursday and, and the weekend and we'll, uh, yeah, I'll definitely watch the Facebook live. I'll share it when I see it and uh, make sure people yeah. just help get the word out too. But uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, any, any like closing comments or any, anything else you'd like to throw out there, Tony? No, not, not yeah. today, but All right. we'll, uh, we'll talk. We'll talk next Tuesday. You bet. You bet. All right. Good luck this, good. Uh, the rest of the week. And yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Buddy. Yep.